welcome my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Never had any beer from this brewery, but I'm looking forward to it. It's from the 16 Lots Brewing Company. They're located in Mason, Ohio, which is a suburb of Cincinnati. And this is the major, described as a German Pilsner. I don't see any data on the bottom, but we're not going to worry about it too much. This does check in at 5.2% alcohol by volume. And I'm trying to think of what the IBUs were. They weren't that much. I think they were 20, 26, I believe. It says on the can here. I'll have to look in there. Oh, boy, that's really building up a quick head. That'll give me a chance to check those IBUs. Yep, 26 IBUs. Yeah, that was building up a quick head there. By the way, this is a traditional bow tie glass. Uh, most uh, frequently associated with Budweiser, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, these were standard beer glasses back in the uh, 1940s and 1950s. Kind of falling out of favor now for the traditional footed. We're not going to quite fit that in there. We're close to it, though. Oh, let me put this over here at the uh, indoor lighting. That is a uh, nice, uh, deep golden color there with a bright white head, substantial head, too. No doubt. Let's get some aroma. Ah, yeah, it's a traditional pills. There's floral hops in there. Biscuity, a little bit of spice. Oh, yeah. We got just the smallest amount left. Let's go ahead and pour her in there. Hey, let's drink this beer. But before we do, we're going to thank the brewers there at 16 Lots in Mason, Ohio, for all the hard work they put into brewing this lovely batch of beer. And thank you at home for watching. Cheers. Mmm. Could have used this beer about a month ago on those blistering, bloody hot days here in Northeast Ohio when it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit every day, baby. Oh, man. It's got some uh, lovely malts right up front there. Some nice, uh, nice, oh, nice malts. Yeah, nice malt. And then you get the lovely spice in here, a little peppery spice. And then you got that bitter finish. Not an IPA dry bitter finish now. Come on. But let's get that nice dry bitter finish in here. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Very, uh, very refreshing. No doubt. When I think of a Pilsner, that's the kind of beer I'm thinking about. 16 lots out of Mason, Ohio. I got a couple of beers. Uh, from this brewery. I got them through uh, Rivalry uh, Beer Company, and I'll put the link at the bottom of the description here. Uh, if you live in Ohio, Pennsylvania, mm, Washington, D.C., and someplace else, you can buy the beers. Uh, very fast shipping. I got next day, next day shipping. When do you get next day shipping? Free! <laughs> Yeah, the beers are priced a, a little bit more than what you'd pay in the store, but yeah, I don't have to get in my car and go out. And I can't find this beer anyway in the market where I'm at. This is from Cincinnati. Now, they do sell beers from Cincinnati in this market, but not that one. Man, this is just good, good, good. Very light bodied, very satisfying beer. And I've said this on my other videos. I just can't figure out why anybody would want to drink a Budweiser, Miller, or Coors when they could drink something like this. I guess if it's about the price, I guess I could understand. Because a six-pack of this, you could probably get 30 cans of that other uh, nondescript beer. Yeah, no doubt about it. So I guess if, if price is that important to you. I like flavor, though, in my beer. I like aromas. I like flavors. I like to look at the beer. Yeah, uh, the head's sticking around. It's not a big head. Look at the lacing on the glassware. It's just a, a, a good tasting beer all around. I just can't imagine why why anybody would want to drink that other beer if you if you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. I was uh, always the opinion that if uh, if you have to watch your pennies while you drink, maybe you shouldn't drink. Just give it up, man. If, if the money's that big of a deal, give it up. 
All right, my friends, very light-bodied beer, very satisfying. I would say go ahead and try it. It has a very good balance of hops and malts, nice sweet malt backbone, and a good dry bitter finish. All right, life is short. Let's be happy. Drink this beer. Cheers to that.